I want to address today the whole conundrum of God within us. It is talked about in many different ways, and theologians argue in various directions. In fact, Jesus said over and over again, the kingdom of God is within you. And people looked at him perplexed, as they still do now. What does that mean, the kingdom of God is within us, or God is within us? Some people say, well, the kingdom may be within, but God isn't. I would say to that, where would God be if not in God's kingdom? So if the kingdom of God is within, it must mean that there's God plus God's kingdom within, which would mean plus the place that God is, dwells, is within us, and God within that. What does it mean? Well, surely Jesus and all the other great ones who have taught this were not lying or making things up. In fact, mystics have always taught that within our beings, at the center of our being, there is God. And because it's pure God, it has to be the same in everybody. Right? How could it not be? But... There is also the soul, and people go, well, what is the soul? And clearly souls are different from person to person. In fact, they are. The soul surrounds the God self inside, and the soul is impacted through our many incarnations and lives. It's impacted by our life experiences. We then live out from those experiences our current life, and it forms our personality and who we are and what we do. The God within us is, it's like it's a cell of God itself. So it has the entire capacity and power and love and light and wisdom of God is in there, in each person. Another way it was said in the Bible is, we were made in God's image. So we were made just like God. doesn't mean God has a face like ours and hair like ours. It means within us there is that which is exactly like God because it is a cell of God. Also that we are sons and daughters of God, which same thing. We are of that same makeup as God is. Now, God, we are told, is love, is love, not just does love, but is love. So God is love, and we're made in God's image, which means we were meant to also be love. To be love, what does that mean? It means that our whole nature, our whole essence is love, and what we radiate out to others is love. So we become centers of light and love and peace and joy and compassion and wisdom in our world around us, just like God is that center for all of us, like the sun is that center for the solar system, that we act as God acts by giving life-giving energy freely to all day and night. It is a wonderful thing to contemplate in meditation, and I recommend you do that. Take some time in meditation and ask, what does it mean the kingdom of God is within, or God is within me? And ask, I'd like to feel that. I'd like to feel that God in me. Now, some of you might say, well, with God in us, we're all already perfect, aren't we? We don't need to do any more. That's a cop-out. We do have God in God's entirety and purity within us, but it's so covered over by so many layers of misthinking, so many layers of negative emotions, of fears, of wrong concepts, of misunderstandings, that for some people, the light from the God self barely shines forth, hardly at all. For others, a good bit comes out. But our work to be able to really be that God within is to clear away all the layers of the negativities that we've packed on that, that have dimmed that brightness within us. That is our work to do, not God's. 
once we have done that and completely cleared it away, we are in fact that which is within us more and more. We can then come to that God within us and come into union with God within. Every mystic's goal and heart's desire is to come into union with God. Jesus exemplified that union when he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I and my Father are one. He had completely allowed that oneness to happen. So when he spoke, it was God speaking through him. Always. When he thought, it was God moving through his thoughts. Any feelings he had was God moving through his heart. That is perfection, and that is mastery, where you let God's kingdom, where God is, come forth in you and fill you completely. You become the kingdom that comes forth in you, and that God within you radiates out. This is what every mystic seeks. This is what, in our mystical school, we teach people to come to where they can have that experience enter into that union and become shining sons, S-U-N-S, and sons and daughters of God where they give and contribute and change the world and bless it as God does.